Stefano. We are going to be doing Oyster Rockefeller. So with Oyster Rockefeller, we're just going to have um, some garlic, some onion, white wine, cream. We're going to use silver beet. You can use spinach, but I've got the silver beet from Mum's garden, so I'd rather use that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our butter in the pan. Now we just want to sweet the onion. We don't want to um, burn it. We don't want to color it. We just want to sweet it. So we're going to put our, I've got one clove of garlic in here and I've got maybe a tablespoon of cut up onion, not very much at all, and a teaspoon of butter. All right, so that's already sweated off. Now I'm going to put in my spinach. Oh, not my spinach, sorry, my silver beet. You can use spinach. And then we're going to put in our cream. So I've got three quarters of a cup, all right, um, of cooking cream. You can use normal cream. I just find cooking cream can stand uh, hot temperatures a lot better. Just going to let that, see how that's already bubbling? It doesn't take long at all. that bubbling and I've got a shot glass of wine uh, just any white wine that you have in the fridge it doesn't matter if it's Sav, um, Chardonnay, fully up to you and whatever you have in your fridge or next to your wine glass that you're probably currently drinking right now. I'm going to get some pepper, put some pepper in there all right, see how quick cooking cream thickens? It's so much quicker, but fully up to you, Fana. Whatever you want to use is fully up to you. Right, now that's thickening. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some oysters on our shells. We're gonna put this mixture on top of the oysters, some breadcrumbs, some cheese, and then we're gonna chuck it under the grill for maybe no more than two minutes, all right? See how that's all bubbling? That is your mixture ready, okay? So we're gonna turn that off, take it off the heat, bring it over here. All right, here are our oysters. So I've got six shells here. I'm gonna pop an oyster in each shell. And again, these are local bluff oysters and they are the best in the world. Honestly, the juicy, Lump. Everything an oyster should be. So here's that. Here's my garlic, onion, wine, cream, silver beet mixture. I'm just gonna put that onto each oyster. You can make a bit of extra and um, soak it up with a bit of bread. No wasting around here. And there. Delicious already. Alright, so that's plenty. I'm going to get, sorry, my breadcrumbs. Just going to put those on top of that creamy mixture. So you're sort of making a bit of a blanket for your oyster. Then we're gonna finish off with some cheese. Um, quantities of cheese is fully up to you. Fully up to you. Now, like I said, um, I love cheese. I love cheese a lot. So, put a bit on there. Finish off with a bit of cracked pepper. God, that smells good. Amazing. Now I'm going to put it on the, um, under the grill under a pretty high heat. And again, we just want the cheese to melt. We don't want to overdo it because you will, um, sorry, you 
you will lose your oyster. It'll shrivel up to virtually nothing. So let's not do that. Alright? Right. So they have been in here for about a minute and a half. No more than two. And as you can see, all the cheese is melted. And that's all you wanted. Because your mixture's already cooked. And you don't want to leave them under there too long. Like I've said before, you don't want to ruin your oysters. Put them over here. Dish these babies up. Look at that. So you've got your garlic, onions, butter, cream, silver beet. You can use spinach. All in there. Breadcrumbs, cheese, pepper. And what's not to like? So this is um, definitely another crowd pleaser. And again, I'm garnishing for photo purposes. And because it looks really cool. And everyone eats with their eyes. Alright. So, Fano, I bring to you Oysters Rockefeller. Alright. Enjoy Fano cooking with Haze.